Seven workers at a Florida bar and a group of 16 friends who were out for a night of fun all tested positive for coronavirus. Erica Crisp was one of them. She's been sick for a week, but she's here along with two of those friends, Kat Layton and Dara. Is it sweet or sweat? It's sweat. All right. Good to have you. Uh, now, I don't want any of you to sweat. This is not one of these sessions. I'm happy that you are feeling better. You're young. Uh, thank God you didn't get hit the way I did. I just wanted to quickly give each of you a chance to share how you now feel after this experience. Erica, starting uh, with you, I know nobody had masks. It was crowded in there, just like a normal bar. Um, why did you think it was okay to do it that way? And what do you think now? I think at the time it was more out of sight, out of mind. We hadn't known anybody who had it personally. Um, governor, mayor, everybody says it's fine. We go out, it's a friend's birthday. It was a mistake. How do you I feel about it now? You say it's a mistake. What do you want people to think? I feel foolish. It, it's too soon. Clearly it's, you know, we got super sick almost immediately within days. So I just, I feel. Hey, look, the most effective preacher is a convert. Now you can tell people, I know why you think it's not a big deal. Uh, learn from me, at least from now. Thank you for coming forward and doing this. I know this is not how you wanted to make your debut on Cuomo Prime Time, but thank you uh, for doing it. Kat Layton, uh, you were there as well. Uh, you had uh, a little different set of uh, symptoms. You were of that no smell, no taste variety. Um, yeah. How are you feeling now and how has your perspective changed? I'm feeling fine. I really am. I, you know, it, it is very bizarre to be able to breathe in, but not smell, you know, your favorite things. Um, but it kind of feels a little spoiled to complain about things like that at the moment. Um, but my experience is definitely that, you know, of course we're regretful. we we do feel foolish standing there in front of all those people. We knew we were, we were pushing it and, you know, and this, it's a little overwhelming, yeah, I think, to to kind of be ahead of this. But really, we just want to raise awareness. We want to let, get ahead of it and tell people that, you know, it's really not ready for how we what we thought it was ready for. It's it's too soon. When you realized, Dara, that uh, you weren't feeling well, what went through your mind? There's a global pandemic going on and I feel sick. <laughs> I was a little like, I was a little scared, a little nervous um, and receiving the text message that my friends were just boom, positive, boom, positive, boom, positive, back to back to back was almost a little overwhelming. Did anybody get sick sick? Um, not to my knowledge. Um, I think all of our symptoms were fairly mild. Um, I do believe that one or two of us uh, had flu-like symptoms mm -hmm. um, and were kind of like laying in bed. But for the most part, um, I've, I experienced very mild symptoms um, throughout the yeah. entire time. Like four or five Fortunate. days worth and then it started to get better? Yes. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Erica, I know that it was a group of 16 of you. Everybody got sick? Everybody. Every one of us. And did you hear uh, stories about people who weren't part of your group getting sick there? Does anybody believe it was something about that place or you think yeah. it's just doing too much too soon? No, yes. Um, I've been, uh, since this all went public a few days ago, the local news, I've been messaged and boxed by strangers, complete strangers that were there that same weekend, Friday and Saturday and Sunday, who are now very sick. So it wasn't just our group. It wasn't just us, but there was one place in common. It was the only place to do so. <clears throat> well, listen, if people can't identify with you, uh, you know, it's one thing when it hears from an like, old guy like me, uh, but for young people who are still viable and just living your life and you're being told everything's okay, that's why I invited you guys on. I'm not here to shake a finger at you. Thank God you're feeling better. And hopefully now, if you have any guilt about it, coming on, letting people know the truth, bravo for you. And also, if you have the antibodies, when you're able to test, give plasma and you'll wind up doing good for people in a situation that started out the wrong way. God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.